I'm here again with Jamie Argetta, and of course I'm Robin Willis. Um, and I just had a couple more questions for him. Um, Jamie, it's 2018, and I've started to hear a lot about interest rates rising. And I wonder if you could fill us in a little bit on that. Yes, there is a lot of talk about interest rates and how they've gone up, especially over the last a little over a year. And we expect them to continue, unfortunately, uh, from the lending side and the borrower side. Basically, just to let you know, the impact to every borrower, for every $100,000, every quarter percent interest rate increase impacts them $15 a month. Therefore, a $200,000 mortgage will end up impacting them $30 a month. So we're seeing this rise in interest rates that will con seems to continue. I mean, the economy is doing well. Unless something changes drastically in the way things have been going here recently, we can see continuing increases in interest rates uh, to be impacting borrowers and they're impacting you know the ability for borrowers to purchase and are you seeing and you're hearing that on the street as well well yeah some of my buyers are which are would be your borrowers are struggling a little bit and i think the challenge is you know 15 percent or 15 dollars a month doesn't really sound like a lot but if you go up a whole percent interest you know that's a 60 dollar a month payment and and for some of my clients they're pretty close you know like they already are about where they want to be max and so you know another sixty dollars a month can actually cause them to reconsider purchasing or to have to purchase a, a lower quality home which is really frustrating when you've been looking at you know a certain level of home and then having to go back down right well and the inventory in Tucson is pretty low right it is uh, I would say the inventory of really good homes is pretty low they go very quickly if they're in good shape and so if unless you're looking for something where you can work on a little bit you can expect to, to have to move very quickly doesn't mean you won't find a great home it means you have to be, be prepared be pre-qualified and that's why I'm sending my my buyers to you first because I want them to be qualified first so if we find that dream home we can act on it immediately I've even had some clients who decided to wait because they wanted to find the deal of a house and they end up saying, okay, I, this is the payment I want to make. And unfortunately, months go by and the interest rates go up. So the payment that they were hoping to have for the type of home they were seeking, unfortunately, is a little bit higher. And then they end up finding a more expensive house that, has, that fits their needs. And they get into where maybe it's a little bit outside their comfort zone. And that's my job is to kind of advise them as to and prepare them for what the payment might be. So before, even when you make a, a, a prequal offer, I'll go ahead and send them sort of a loan scenario, make sure that they're prepared to see what that payment could look like. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting that you mention that because I have actually, for the first time in my career, been advising buyers to move quickly. And I, it, I really avoid being salesy. I consider myself more of a consultant, but in this case, I wouldn't be doing my fiduciary duty if I didn't let them know uh, that deal is probably not going to come along because home prices keep rising. So if they wait till next year, that $200,000 home that they love is going to be $210,000, which isn't a whole lot, but that's 10 grand mm -hmm. that they could have saved just by buying now. In addition to rising interest rates, if, if they end up adding another $120 to their payment because interest rates go up a point, they really haven't saved anything. They, waiting for the deal is no longer a really viable tactic in order to get the right home at the right price. In today's environment, exactly. Right. right. 